Hello, hello my loves. Welcome. Today we are doing another guided meditation for world peace and unity. If you haven't already, I have uploaded multiple meditations over the past few weeks and I have a story highlight completely dedicated to this. So you can always go back to the highlight if you want to know more. Hello, hello. Um, welcome. Thank you all for joining me. For anyone who is catching this on the replay, let me know that you're here. I'd love to hear about your experience after this meditation as well. Ooh, before we get into today's, I want to give a little preface. This is going to be a really powerful activation specifically for releasing density, not only within yourself, but also density on the planet and heaviness. So... I don't see emotions as good or bad because they all serve a purpose, but obviously there are more heavy, more dense emotions that pull us down and weigh us down, that feel uncomfortable in our body um, because they're not in alignment with our truest core essence and our true self, which is divine source, divine love, right? So in this meditation, we're going to be clearing out any of the things that are feeling heavy to you or stressful or overwhelming, keeping you stuck, maybe holding you back. Um, and also looking at this on the planetary scale, because one of the things we do have control over is our own way of seeing ourselves and one another, our own way of treating ourselves and one another. And if we are wanting to create a world that is more full of love and peace and not filled with war and hate and greed and um, this like competition that's at the expense of other people's lives and quality of life and health and happiness, then it really starts within and by releasing these things that are not supportive of that, right? And the more we are connected to those so-called positive emotions, um, more so just higher vibrational states of being, then the quicker we can spread that and share that and influence that around us as well. Now, when we look at the earth itself, it is a living being, right? And also an energetic being and there are so many ways that the earth has been holding on to heavy emotions heavy energies uh, densities of pain and trauma and division as well and as we are on this ascension path as humanity on earth right now the earth is ascending with us as well so it's really beautiful to work in tandem with the planet, with nature, and just understanding that like the old and the heavy has to move out. It has to clear out in order for those higher vibrational things to have space to drop in, right? Um, even when you think of it in the dimensional plane and the different dimensions, right? The lower we go, the heavier things are. And as we rise higher into 5th, 6th, 8th, 12th, however far you want to go into the higher dimensions, it is lighter and lighter and lighter. Um, these heavy human vibrations don't exist the same way there. Um, just like if we look at the second dimension and the first dimension and the breakdown of the elements and the density how compact, how heavy it is, right? So again, there's no good and bad, but it's truly about tuning into the frequency of what it is we want to create, what we want to experience more of. So I'm about to get into this meditation, but it comes with a warning, a preface of the fact that when we clear out heavy or dense emotions from within ourselves, there is a purging process that can take place. If you are, um, if you've done a lot of this healing work, you are no stranger to this. But if you're newer on that journey, it might throw you off. And that's why I want to explain it for a moment. Because 
like, we're not going to be getting deep into your personal traumas, but I'm going to use that as an example because it's very understandable, is that say I am connecting to a heavy emotion, a painful experience, or a trauma experience within me. If I am bringing that up to the surface, looking at it, maybe crying about it, releasing it, letting it go... There is a purging process that takes place because I'm literally removing something that I've been holding on to or I've been storing for a while. I'm releasing that and then I'm bringing in more love or more positive energies after. But there can be a purging that you feel. You can also notice that when you do these releases, when you have these shifts, that things in your life around you feel like they're kind of shit's hitting the fan for a couple days and you're like why are these things going on or why am I being met with resistance or certain reflections of people reacting in these old ways or these old wounds potentially being triggered right a lot of times that's because we've just done some clearing around these things and there's like a, a vibrational shift taking place there's a uh little time period before you notice the full transformation in the physical reality and in that interim period things can be feeling a little bit crazy right this also happens on a planetary scale on a global scale so when there is a big shift and a big powerful activation that's taken place or some really deep healing that's done or deep grid work um, this can cause an external ripple to be felt and it can look like something has taken place that we would consider bad, but it might be the darkness coming up to the surface to be transmuted into light, just like within ourselves. We're bringing darkness to the surface to transmute that into light, to shift it from heavy, dense into lighter emotions, lighter energies, okay? So just a heads up that if things come up for you in the course of the next few days after you've listened to this, that that is possibly what's happening. It's nothing to fear. You are a sovereign being, you are in control. And if it's something that's coming up, just be aware of if it's something you want to let go or if it's something that yeah, is no longer serving you, in which case, just let it do its thing and focus your point of attraction, your consciousness and your vibration on your desired reality and the desired frequency you want to actually call in more of, okay? Quantum lesson. <laughs> With that said, let's get into this. This dropped in very powerfully earlier this morning when I was tuning into what I wanted to focus on for this meditation for world peace and what felt like it could be most supportive at this time. So you can get in a comfortable position if you haven't already. And we're going to begin this process. So once you're comfy, you can take a few deep breaths, take any gentle movements if you need releasing any tension in your body as we go, allowing each exhale to release any stress or tension and feel yourself softening with every single breath. Just tuning in more and more to your body, to the sensations on the bed chair beneath you, whatever surface you're sitting on, feeling yourself relaxing, and before we start this meditation, just setting the intention that everything that comes through and all the beautiful impact that comes from this activation is in service to the light and in accordance with the one true living God, the
the divine will in service to all humanity. That means sometimes it's not exactly what our ego thinks or our ego wants, but it's always in the highest service for you, for your soul's path, your unique journey, as well as for the collective and for the earth. On your next breath, you can breathe into your body and feel your body filling up. And then exhale back into your body, like you're sending that breath to fill your body. And then you can breathe into your body again. And now exhale into the room, feeling your oxygen and your energy expanding into the entire room. Now breathe into your body. Exhale into your entire house or apartment or building. Breathe into your body. And exhale outside. Breathe into your body. And exhale over your neighborhood maybe like you're floating above your neighborhood, expanding outwards, and then breathe into your body, and exhale over your entire city, breathe into your body, Exhale over your state or province. Breathe into your body. And now exhale over your country, feeling yourself expand over the entire country. Breathe into your body. Exhale over the planet. Breathe into your body. And once more, exhaling around the earth, like you're wrapping around the earth, giving her a big hug. And continue breathing here taking a moment to deepen your connection to the earth, to Mother Gaia. And almost like each breath you take, you're breathing in tandem with this heartbeat of the planet, with this core pulse. Feeling your body sinking up with the earth. Noticing this deep connection, this deep oneness to the planet. And while you feel this connection, once more bringing in the awareness of a loving creator. So feeling this support connecting to you, to the earth, maybe bringing in divine light, or just feeling these waves of unconditional love. Getting a sense of being held. Of being supported, being loved feeling peace in your body, any stress or tension or overwhelm just washing away as you feel this connection to the earth and to the loving creator. to 
begin to clear out any density, any heaviness that is no longer of service to you or service to the planet. Remembering that this is not coming from the ego and any egoic desires, this is coming from the divine God in service to all. And so whether you notice it like you are scanning your body from head to toe, feeling any areas of tension or heaviness or noticing any little blocks or shadows that are holding onto any kind of energy or emotions that are heavy and no longer serving you. Or whether you're immediately just being drawn to certain parts of your body. Maybe there is the feelings of a blockage around your throat or tightness in your chest or feelings in your gut hips, wherever it's showing up, bringing your awareness there and using your co-creative power aligned with God to breathe into those spaces, breathe into that density, like you are activating it, pulling it up to the surface and then exhale and send it out. continue doing this with each breath so breathing into any dense any tense or sharp areas heavy areas within you breathing into those spaces pulling it up 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 and then exhale sending that out letting it go clearing it from your physical body as well as from your energetic field Knowing that it's safe to release. Safe to clear out the things that no longer serve you. Taking a few more deep breaths into your body here. Continuing to inhale and bring this density up to the surface and then exhale pulling it out letting it go maybe you see these things immediately turning into dust or breaking into little particles of light Maybe you still see the full energy or color or emotion or experience or heaviness, but you just see that it's no longer a part of you, it's separate. And with every single breath, as you release this from your body, you are handing it over to the divine, handing it over to the higher realms, all angelic, and galactic beings, multidimensional beings in service to the living light are here to assist in your clearing. They're coming in to assist in lightening the load and supporting you so that you don't have to be weighed down by these things anymore. And also knowing that Source, God, is also here transmuting these things. So truly, it's just your intention, your awareness, bringing it forward, letting it go, and then it's fully handled. These things are being cleared out in service to the highest good of you and the entire planet. As you begin to feel yourself lighter and lighter, feeling this clearance, 
feeling this freedom in your body, in your energetic vessel as well, your energetic vortex. Maybe filling yourself with a light or whatever color feels most resonant to you. Flooding that energy, that light frequency into your body, into your energetic field. Filling everything back up. Until you have this beautiful glow. Hmm. This presence of the divine, even stronger within you. It was always there. We just had to remove a little bit of the weight that was clouding it. And as you feel this light settling in, we're going to support Mother Gaia in doing the same. So knowing that you are a powerful creator, knowing that you are so supported in what you are about to do, and that you have the power of Mother, Father, God in supporting the earthly plane for the benefit of all living beings who are here right now and all living beings in future generations. So feeling this incredible assistance and energetic support and begin to notice the earth tuning in whether you see specific places, specific circumstances or whether you just see the earth in general Allowing your breath to be a conduit for breathing up anything that's dense, anything that's outdated, any inorganic programs or systems that are not serving humanity, that are not serving all the living beings on this planet. And like you're breathing into these shadows, bringing them up to the surface of the earth and with your exhale, sending them outwards. continuing this with each breath so we're breathing into anything that is not aligned with divine will with unconditional love with unity anything that is dense and archaic these systems and programs of enslavement manipulation greed torture inequality it is time for these to go and mother earth doesn't want to hold them anymore they were never meant for her either they were never meant for any of us and we have the power here to call these things forward and exhale them out clear them out remove them from the earthly grid sensations in your body as you do this these are sensations that are not affecting you they cannot harm you it's just showing your sensitivities and how in tune you are with this process and with the earth right much love so breathing those things up and exhaling it sending it out releasing this Once again, calling in the assistance of divine beings of living light, all those in service to humanity, to unity, to a loving creator, to also assist in pulling up any of these outdated structures and systems and like sending that outwards where it can be transmuted, where it can be shifted and healed. setting the intention for this process to continue happening for as long as it's needed 
whether your conscious awareness is doing it or not, there are so many beings here assisting. The power of your consciousness is so incredible. The power of your intention is so incredible. Using the power of your voice as well to declare that anything that's not in service to the light be brought to the surface, transmuted, released. And as I said, intending for this process to continue far beyond this meditation, continuing into time and space. Taking any last deep breaths that you need to release any of this density that you've been feeling or picking up on from yourself or from the earth, sending that out. And once again, filling yourself and the planet back up with love, with light, with whatever kind of healing frequencies you're feeling called to infuse into the planet, to infuse into Mother Gaia. Maybe even like a beautiful gold dust sparkling over the entire planet and all the beings who are living here. Feeling that shift, feeling that support, all who need it. And feeling this divine light continuing to permeate the earth so that the earth has the same kind of glow that you just experienced around yourself. Right? The earth is just being flooded with this magnificent light. feeling how deeply supported we all are in this process and in this journey of ascension and the shift that we are taking place right now on the planet. And for the next few moments, I invite you to envision the highest possible timeline for the planet. So transcending just your own personal human experience and the reality you're calling in, and tuning into the collective consciousness and the highest timeline of what is possible. Seeing the most magnificent experiences of unity, of love, of connection to one another. Seeing the beautiful areas of nature that are just flourishing again and how Mama Gaia gets to showcase the incredible beauty that she has and it's being seen, it's being received, it's being respected. Seeing that all living beings around the, the world are supported. They have all their needs met and then some. It's just like the most beautiful planet of harmony and feeling that fully in your body as you tune into whatever this looks like to you seeing what earth was meant to be This is what she was always meant to be. This planet was designed for so much more than what it's currently holding. And as all those outdated systems and programs and consciousness traps and just inorganic things continue to clear out it gets to return to what it was meant to be, to heaven on earth. So take a few more deep breaths as you feel that fully. A 
allowing these incredible visuals and emotions and sensations to fill your body as they fill the planet. Seeing, feeling, and knowing what is possible from this viewpoint of the highest vibration. And once more seeing all the incredible energetic support and higher level guidance and assistance from those higher realms that is turning this into a reality that is helping with whatever needs to be cleared, whatever needs to be removed, whatever needs to be reactivated so the earth can return to her intention, what she was always meant for. Inviting this process to continue far beyond this present moment in space and time and we're going to begin to wind down. So feeling all this in your body, all these beautiful sensations. Begin to bring your awareness into your heart space. Connecting to your heart chakra, feeling the overwhelming sense of love. Anchoring into your heart. Take a few nice deep breaths here. Continuing to hold the vision of what's possible and what is destined. It's on its way. We continue to collapse time and bring it in sooner every time we tune into this frequency and we know that it is done. It is done. It is done. Every time we maintain this vibration and bring this out into the planet, we assist this shift. Then bringing your awareness down into your root chakra at the base of your spine. Allowing yourself to ground all of this into the root. You can take a few deep breaths here. Feeling the lightness anchoring into your body from all the releasing you just did and feeling the lightness of the earth's energetic shifts as well. The lightness that you get to walk around with now as you navigate your day. So take one more deep breath into your root and then exhale out. And seeing or feeling a cord of energy from your roots connecting down into the earth. If you feel at all ungrounded, allowing this cord to pull you back down, pulling you back out of the quantum, out of the ethers, out of this beautiful experience and feeling yourself back down, connected to the earth. Taking a deep breath into the earth, exhaling out. And then slowly as you're ready, you can begin to bring awareness back into your body. Gently wiggling fingers and toes taking any soft movement side to side. And then when you're ready, gently blinking your eyes back open, returning to the present moment, returning to the room. Taking a few moments here. to really let this settle in. Let everything that you just felt, 
that you saw, that you experienced, allow it to settle. And I invite you to hold this frequency throughout the day. Hold this image, hold this deep knowing of what you just experienced, what you have just helped create, the shifts that you have supported within yourself as well as the earth, as well as humanity and all living beings on this planet. And as you go about your day, I invite you to hold that vision. See the world through those eyes. See one another through those eyes. How would love show up? How would unity show up? What would be the highest possible frequency that you can operate in as you bring these shifts out into the world? And how can you continue to hold space for the highest timeline of the planet, of humanity, of every living being on this earth. Thank you so much for spending your time and energy here with me, for devoting your time and energy to something so powerful, so important as this. knowing that this process is going to continue beyond this moment. So as you walk away from this meditation, changes are going to happen. I invite you to remain open to those changes. I invite you to clear out any ego expectations, your mind's expectations of how things are going to look or how they should look, how they should happen, how they might play out. It likely will not happen the way your ego is expecting but just know that all is done and be open for the divine guidance for the divine realignment for whatever possible purging might happen to clear space for what you just did energetically and to open up space physically for your reality to shift for these higher timelines, these higher level frequencies and emotions and experiences to drop in. You just did really powerful work. I invite you to take extra good care of yourself, drink tons of water, swim or have a salt bath or go in the ocean if you live near the ocean, um, but be very kind to yourself. I'm sending you so much love and I will see you again soon.